An ideology is a collection of normative beliefs and values that an individual or group holds for other than purely epistemic reasons. The term was coined by Antoine Destut de Tracy in 1796, who conceived it as the science of ideas. In contemporary philosophy it is narrower in scope than that original concept, or the ideas expressed in broad concepts such as worldview, imaginary and ontology. In the political world, for instance, there are many well-known political ideologies, which cover a wide range of human interests. In the modern Althusserian sense, ideology is the imagined existence or idea of things as it relates to the real conditions of existence. The term ideology was born during the reign of terror of French Revolution and acquired several other meanings thereafter. The word, and the system of ideas associated with it, was coined by Antoine Destut de Tracy in 1796, while he was in prison pending trial during the terror. The word was created by assembling the words idea, from Greek dia near to the Lockean sense and logy, from a the coup that overthrew Maximilian Robespierre allowed Tracy to pursue his work. Tracy reacted to the terroristic phase of the revolution by trying to work out a rational system of ideas to oppose the irrational mob impulses that had nearly destroyed him. He devised the term or a science of ideas he hoped would form a secure foundation for the moral and political sciences. He based the word on two things. One sensations people experience as they interact with the material world, and two the ideas that form in their minds due to those sensations. He conceived ideology as a liberal philosophy that would defend individual liberty, property, free markets, and constitutional limits on state power. He argues that among these aspects ideology is the most generic term because the science of ideas also contains the study of their expression and deduction. Tracy worked this out during Napoleonic regime, and Napoleon Bonaparte came to view ideology a term of abuse, which he often hurled against his liberal foes in Tracy's Institute National. According to Karl Mannheim's historical reconstruction of the shifts in the meaning of ideology, the modern meaning of the word was born when Napoleon used it to describe his opponents as the ideologues. Karl Marx adopted this negative sense of the term and used it in his writings. He described Tracy as a fish blvg bourgeois stockatrainer, the fish-blooded bourgeois doctrinaire.